The month of Ramadan is underway and millions of Muslims worldwide are joining in a collective fast intended to help purify their souls. For more than one half a million African-American Muslims, many of whom are descended from former slaves, Ramadan has a special meaning as a link between the African-American experience and the Islamic tradition of spiritual freedom. VOA's Mana Rabi has more. The call to prayer at sunset at Masjid Muhammad in Washington, the oldest African-American Muslim community in the United States. More than 500 African-American Muslims worship here, just as many before them have worshipped since the 1930s. Talib Sharif, a retired U.S. Air Force veteran, is the new Imam at Masjid Muhammad. He says the experience of black Muslims in the United States is different from that of most other Muslims. Most of the African Americans in America come from the church experience. We became Muslims in America just a little differently uh, here. And because we are Muslim, most of the Americans, most of our family members, they're not aware of Islam. So we have to explain a lot of things. We have to share a lot of our life with those around us because it's a minority in terms of religion. 24-year-old Jocelyn Cole grew up balancing her Christian life with Muslim traditions. Her mother is a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, while her father converted to Islam before she was born. So whenever I would be with my father during the month of Ramadan, I remember as a child, like, going to farmer's market to find dates to break fast. So even though I might not have fasted the whole day or even understood, I just remember eating dates with my daddy at sunset. <laughs> While the women greet each other inside the sisters' room, the kitchen crew rushes to serve a Ramadan dinner of chicken and rice with baked beans. For Ibrahim Mumin, the great-grandson of a slave, Ramadan is an important opportunity to share his faith with non-Muslims. But he says 10 years after 9-11, many Americans remain afraid of Muslims and ignorant about Islam. I was at a, a reception and they asked me, what country am I, am I from? Because many Americans have this perception that all, all Muslims come from another country. And I'm from the United States of America. I tell them, I, I pulled up my passport, says the same thing as your passport says, United States of America. Imam Sharif says there is a strong connection between African Americans' historical struggle for freedom and equality since the end of slavery in the 1860s and the Islamic tradition of seeking spiritual freedom. Ramadan, he says, is a chance for black Muslims in America to remember that. You know, we're coming out of slavery. So there was a journey to see humanity free. And, and becoming Muslims through that experience, uh, it was highlighting three particular words, freedom, justice and equality. That's what we wanted. And every human being wants that. Monarabi, VOA News, Washington.